Hello, greetings fellow stationers, and welcome to what is hopefully a short and concise introduction how to install Bepinex and stationers mods for those juicy mods for stationers that don't work unless you jump through these additional hoops. So the two things you're going to need is Bepinex and stationers mod. You may have noticed I already have uh, Bepinex up here. I will trash it and we will start from scratch. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look up stationers mods. Uh, stationers mods and ignore Nexus things that just gives you a list of mods uh, that you can get from there. Uh, this is what we're going to want the GitHub thing. And there is a reason why I'm starting with this one. This is the page you land on and it's a little confusing. But you come down here, scroll down. If you're going to do it, you need to do the following. Install this and ask questions down here. And the rest of the stuff down here is largely uh, irrele well, not irrelevant, but uh, not important if you're just looking to get um, the mod installed. That takes you here installation instructions. Now unfortunately with the way it's um, formatted a lot of people get to this and they don't think to scroll down. So you're going to want to download Bepinex so we'll go here first and that downloads it. It's put a number two on it to show that I've already downloaded it before but well, that's okay. I've already put it on there somewhere. All right, so just skip that. Okay, so we've got Bepinex, and we also want to get uh, the Stationers mods. Uh, you should probably go with this one uh, if you're okay with playing around with beta and reinstalling every 10 minutes, then maybe this one as well. It looks like they're the same version number, so it's probably the same, but. I'm just going to download the stable one. And again, I must have a copy of this already left over from my previous system. OK, so where did that put it? I don't know where it put it. Oh. Where'd it go? No, that didn't pick it up. Oh, okay. Put it there. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much all we need, but it will tell you exactly what you need to do. So I will just move this off to one side and I will go through the install process. So, fire up Steam, or if you if you don't have uh, if you don't use Steam, then uh, let's see, do I have a shortcut on my desktop for it? Yes, I do. You can right click, go to properties, oh, and of course the. Uh, Because this is run from Steam, it, it just gives you a Steam link. But if it, if you were running it on uh, a local machine, uh, like not through Steam, then it would give you a path that you could actually open to. And it would take you there. So, But in Steam, you go to right-click on it, choose Properties, go to Installed Files, and up here it will tell you where it's installed, how much space it's using, click Browse, and that opens your Steam window. So we're going to need to, first of all, install Bepinex. So I will just open up the archive, make it a little smaller. So your uh, install directory will look something like this. It will be user, app data, local user, whatever, Steam, Steam apps, common, station is, and you'll recognize it when you get in here, rocketstation.exe. That's the executable for station is. So all you do 
you grab all of these files and just drag them in there. That's all you do for this stage. Very important step, I should just minimize these, I'll close that one, is you now have to launch the game. So we'll close this. And when you launch the game in this state, it creates a couple of uh, folders that the other things need as well. Uh, without doing this stage, things don't work quite so smoothly and people get frustrated. Let's just exit the desktop. Okay. So now we have a few extra uh, directories in here, including the plugins one, which is kind of important because we get the station here's mods. We open up the plugins folder and we just drag that in there. So you should end up with these files in Stationeers Mods, which is inside Plugins, which is inside Bepinex. I think when you install Bepinex, you, you, there's a couple of these folders that you don't get. You could probably create them manually, but uh, right. Now, I don't have any mods installed. So what I will do is go into the workshop and install a couple. And I'll be right back. 20 minutes later. Okay, so after much faffing about and forgetting that I was still recording, we should be good to go. So, it took me a while to find my list of uh, mods that are considered essential. It'd be nice if uh, I'd actually thought about doing that beforehand, but I did not. All right, see, this is the thing I was thinking of. Okay, so we close that, exit to the desktop. Wait for this to stop and fire the game up again. Okay, so there's all my mods installed include there are a couple that are not um bepinex related uh which one is it uh right the infinite paint one uh that doesn't need it actually i think pretty much everything else does yeah although this one here no heat haze i haven't actually I don't know if that actually works or not, but I don't spend much time on the hot worlds anyway. So we'll go into a new world. We will do, uh, let's do Europa, normal, and we'll do standard. This isn't going to be a playthrough. This is just to test the mods out. Now I do remember the headlight enhancement doesn't work until you restart the game. Right, so, yank the tank works. I pick up the tank and you notice the thing is pointing towards me. Although I think it only works if you grab it from the front. If you grab it from the back, it's the same. So, yeah, that works. Uh, let's get the tablet out. 
Right, that's not working because that only has four... Oh, no, it's a better advanced tablet. Yes, I need the advanced tablet to test that out. So I'm turn the headlight on and off. doesn't do anything. So, we'll quick save. Leave the session. Go right back in, and hopefully the headlight is going to be super powerful. Yep. So, can't test all the mods out because a lot of them uh, require either lots of seeds or uh, other things. But uh, what we can do is just fly away and see when these things disappear. You can see at the top of the screen we've got the, uh, the compass ribbon. Now, normally uh, you lose sight of anything to uh, between 200 and 250 meters away. So, we're not quite there yet, but we'll be shortly. Uh, with the render distance enhancement mod, the uh, stuff is visible for much, much longer. You can see some of the terrain is going to a lower level of detail, but you can still see the lander and still see the capsule. Of course, if I thought to put down the uh, the beacon beforehand, could have measured it. But anyway, um, that in a nutshell is how you install it. Uh, let me see if I can bring back the... Uh, initial instructions right so when you're on the station is mods you know don't go to Bepin X first go here because this tells you what you need to do so you're going to download Bepin X from here uh, don't have to uninstall it just keep it on your, on your desktop um, and then grab the uh, station is mod uh, grab it from this one and again I just had those uh, both state saved as um, let's get out of this just had them saved on my uh, desktop uh, zip files and you let's drag that one out of the way so it's not so confusing so that's the Bepin X one move that out of the way and station is mods one like that. So when you install BepinX, I think you only get the core directory to begin with. Whereas when we have finished, you end up with cache, config, patches and plugins um, directory all installed. And in the plugins thing here you just get the DLLs the the mods actually go in, into uh, one of your game folders uh, I forget which one it is but it's somewhere under the user uh, username right so that's the kind of format you should end up with under steam apps common station ears that's where you add BepinX start the game, get back out. That creates a few of these folders, including plugins. That's where you drop in Stationers mods, just literally a drag and drop. And then these files end up there. Anyway, have any questions, observations, comments, criticisms, even a good dad joke? Let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you back on Mimus. 54 Bear, out.